I think I was nine years old. I went to my violin teacher and said, you know, I saw this amazing conductor and I, I'm going to be the conductor. And she said, girls can't do that. Every day from that day when I saw Leonard Bernstein conduct, I thought, I'm never going to get to do this because everybody said, no, no, you can't. The world, the society, everything, no, no, no. It was more likely for a woman to be a four-star officer in the United States military than to lead a major American symphony orchestra. The new conducting teacher, he said, you will never be a conductor. I said, maestro, conducting is the only thing in life I want to do. And I saw him almost, and he said, no. The sound of another glass ceiling being shattered by the first woman in history to head a major American symphony orchestra. I'm good turning over control to you. <laughs> Not all the time. Oh, this is such a um, surprise. With Menon, we are widely seen as the most important Latin American professional orchestra today. If you want strong, just make a fist. You can not show it like that, but like, like this. Being the first is a tough job, and I think this is why she's fighting so much for us. It's like jumping into the darkness and trusting that you'll land on your feet. <laughs>